Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can share Google Colab notebooks with different Google users. Let's review the advantages and disadvantages of sharing notebooks. The biggest advantage is of course you can share and edit Google Colab notebooks across multiple users. You can also give these users different permissions, so you can give them editing permissions to actually make edits and save those edits within the same Google Colab notebook or you can just give them viewing permissions. I'll show everyone how to do this later in the video. There are, of course, disadvantages to sharing notebooks, the biggest ones being security issues. When you're granting permission to a user, if they have any malicious intent, they can cause issues within the notebook, such as planting malicious code. And if you ever retrieve notebooks online that are shared notebooks, you have to be wary of running those as well because some of those can contain malicious code. Let's get into the actual notebook itself and how we can share this. So this is a simple notebook I made of a Plotly graph for a previous video. We can see that it's a bar chart and we want to share this with another user. The way that we can share this is we go to the top right corner and we hit share and we can type in the person that we want to share the notebook with. We can send a message to this person if we want, and we can also change the type of permissions that they have. Editor, and in this case, commenter and viewer are really the same thing where they can still run the notebook, but they can't make edits to it. So let's send this over, and I am going to share and switch over to my different account and we can take a look at this. The way I can easily bring this up is I, if I go back to share, I can get the link. And you can type the link right in the top of the URL and search. So we can see that we have the notebook here as well, and we can run it. It will give you a warning that this was not authored by Google and it was sent by this person, which is again myself, so I trust it. But always be aware of these notebooks and if you're especially if you're working with them online and you don't know the author directly. So I'm gonna say run anyway. And we have this printed out. Let's say that I want to make an edit for this. Instead of having it as purple, I want to change this to pink. Looks like it went through. And we can save this. And if I go back to my other collab notebook, it may take a few seconds for this to pop up. Okay, we can see that the edits have come through to the original notebook that I wrote. And we can see that it, the edits came through. If we want to change the permission to the person, we can just go back to share and we can change them from an editor to a viewer or a commenter. And they have the same permission structure when it comes to Google Colab Notebooks. Let's go back. And I can r still run the notebook, but if for whatever reason I want to make a change, it will run in here but I can't save it to the original one because I don't have permission to do it now. And finally, if you want to completely remove somebody, if we go back to share, we can remove the viewer. And there are other options such as give temporary access and transfer ownership if you want to make them the owner. But in this case, we're just going to remove, remove this user from the notebook and it may take a few seconds for this to go through, save, and if you try to send them the link, it won't work. You can also go through your Google Drive to give people sharing permissions by just right-clicking, and you can, give it sh you can click on share, and this will give you the same options as, in, as within Google Colab itself. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you find, found it useful, you can like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again, and happy coding!